would justice be done in this case? At least we have our answer. But if we're being honest with ourselves, we know that the true justice is about much more than a single verdict in a single trial. Uh, on that note, I want to bring into our conversation our friend Eddie Glaude. Eddie, I keep thinking of a conversation you and I had many weeks ago about Darnella Frazier. She was a 17-year-old eyewitness to George Floyd killing. Uh, she was there, um, just happened to be there. She's the one who filmed the bystander video. She took her nine-year-old cousin out for snacks. But when I listened to Keith Ellison and the prosecutors talk about the case they made, they were given some extraordinary um, human experiences by the eyewitnesses themselves. Right, and if it wasn't for Dornella Frazier pulling out her phone, videotaping the death of George Floyd and then uploading it on her Facebook page, would we be here? That's a key point. So I want to just lift her up. I, wanted, I also want to say that, you know, my stomach has been in a knots. I've been telling you this, Nicole. Uh, this is this is a moment of relief, but it's an inaugural moment. It's a beginning. It's not an end. I've said before that justice is not a pra justice is a practice. It's not an end. And so we need to understand that yeah. we're in this moment of transition to change the very nature of policing. And let me the last point I would make really quickly, Nicole, is that we have been preparing Please. for the violence of protests. Now we need to prepare for the reaction of the police. We were prepared for mm. the protesters and what they might do if the verdict came down in a way that they were not satisfied. Now we need to be mindful of what it means that we're seeing these tectonic plates shift in the very ways in which policing is happening in the country.